So I'm here at the Grease the Musical West End After Party. I'm super excited to be chatting to some of the cast and those involved with the show. I love the show, it's super fun. Be sure to check it out, running at the Dominion Theatre. So I'm just here with Ben Yates at the opening of Grease the Musical. How did you find it? Um, I'm gonna say something that you probably heard about a million times tonight. Yeah. It was electrifying! Hey! It really was, and of course, you're in another kind of very upbeat musical. But what was it like to take a night off and go and see Greece in the West End? It was incredible. It was so good to have Greece back in London, in its original home as well. Yeah. That's where it was in the 90s. Um, and I, I thought it was great. The cast are incredible, all so hard working. Go and see it. Thanks so much, Ben. Good to see you. And Cheers. You. So I'm here at the press night for Greece with Jocasta, who plays Rizzo! Oh my goodness, what a show! How much fun did you have tonight? Like, the most fun. Very sweaty fun, but a lot of fun. <laughs> We've got to talk about the fact that you are just so vocally incredible in this show. What's it like to perform such iconic songs from Greece? It's amazing, and like, the, the reception it receives is just so great, and it just kind of keeps inspiring me to, to do it every night and be better. Love Absolutely, it. and right in the heart of London's West End, how about that? Ah, yes! And of course, you've been doing so much in theatre, but this is probably the most iconic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so, I think so. Rizzo's definitely a big, big tick for me, like, I'm very happy. And she's got so many iconic lines, I was wondering whether you had a favourite at all. My favourite line? Oh my god! Well, look at me, I'm Sandra D. I I mean, that, is, that Sandra D in itself is iconic. I think that whole bit is brilliant. It really is. But it was lovely talking to you. Thank I wish you all of the best for the run. Thanks for talking to me. Thank you so, so I'm here with Jake, who plays Doody in Grease the Musical. How was press night for you? So much fun. So, so much fun. Like, this is just, it's just such an opportunity to come true. Like, it's great. And of course, you've got an incredible song you get to sing. What's the playing on the radio? What's it like to perform that every single night? I, again, it's just it's a dream come true. Like me sitting in my bedroom, you know, ten years ago, just trying to learn guitar, and now actually getting to do that on the Dominion stage, like that blows my mind. Blows my mind. And of course, Greece is the word. So, do you have a favourite word to live by at all? Just, uh, I'd say belief. Just, I think if. If you've got belief in yourself and you've got belief in other people, like that's that's all you need. Well, thank you so much, Jake. Enjoy press night. It was great to meet you. Thank, thank you, thank you. So I'm here with Damon and Dan at the opening of Grease the Musical in London's West End, who play Sonny. Danny Zuko. Icons, icons right here. What's it like for both of you to play such iconic roles in Grease the Musical? Oh, it's amazing. It's just like it's one of those musicals everyone knows, you know, but this kind of production is has this edgy kind of raw twist on it and it's much more relatable to I think teenagers growing up in working class families as well like it's yeah. just it's amazing to be a part of it to tell that story yeah about the characters. it's nice to have had the opportunity to take these iconic roles and make them our own I know yeah. I think that's been really nice to bring something of ourselves as well you know it's For been sure. really great that's what the director Nikolai he embraces the actors in the room and he says we don't want you know Hollywood's version of Danny Zuko, Sonny Lattieri, we want your raw kind of bringing Damon to it, bringing Dan to it and it's, it gets the most out of the actors. Well, it makes it edgy, it makes it fresh and it makes it relevant to this audience which I think is so good about it because I saw it years ago but it's, this has been completely reinvented. Like, everything from the cast through to the set, all of you are incredibly talented. Everybody was just incredible. It's, it's all a machine, you know? Like, everybody is a key component in this whole company, and it shows backstage we all just get on so well, and we're all so happy to be there. That's why tonight is just such a celebration of 
what yeah. we've made all together. It's just, it's really lovely. As well as just like, having like the most amazing cast with us, you know, it's the team spirit that I think it's, it's that the energy we have as a group that, that is where our strength is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. And of course, Greece is the word. So, do either of you have a favourite word at all? <laughs> <laughs> a favourite word? Yeah, yeah. I've got one. Um, one you live by. Come on. My favourite word is electrifying. Yes. Appropriate. My favourite word at the minute is fungu. Hey. Which is uh, by the show. Hey. Hey. Fungu. Fungu. Yeah. Well, I love that, guys. Thank you so much. Wishing you all of the best with Greece at the Dominion. Thank you. Hey. So I'm just here with Paul at the opening of Greece the Musical. And Paul plays. I play Kanicki. And Kanicki, of course, is part of the incredible group, which, of course, is the legendary... Burger Palace Boys. Woohoo! So, of course, this production is new and fresh. What's your favourite part about being part of Greece in the West End 2022 edition? Um, I'd have to say probably that how we're doing this version, we're trying to make it current to, like, today and make it um, less... Um, old-fashioned and try and make it more current so that kids of today will also learn and love this story as much as uh, past generations have. Absolutely and it does just that as well and of course there's so many iconic songs in this but there's also a few new songs as well yeah. but do you have a favorite to perform at all? I'm slightly biased. I feel like Grease Lightning is my favourite to do, yes. but I'm biased, I'm biased. I mean, it is iconic, it's super fun, but also, it's so different this time, but in an amazing way, like the car is iconic. Yeah. I just loved every single second, and oh, literally, the audience go wild, don't they? What's it like for you when the audience reacts to that song? Yeah, it's slightly, it's slightly surreal. Obviously, there's a lot of expectation, a lot of weight that comes with the song, but, you yeah, know, it's a huge honour to do, and um, yeah, I love the reception every night, it's great. And why should people come to see Greece in the West End? You should come to see Greece in the West End because it's got the industry's most fresh young talent. Um, and if you think you know Greece, I, th I think you should come watch it because you might be surprised, pleasantly surprised. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the press night, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. So I'm here with Eloise. Who? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, Courtney! It's Courtney! It's Courtney! Hello. I love that. I love that support. A supportive girlfriend, that's exactly what you need. Um, oh my goodness. I was blown away by your Frenchie. Honestly, you suit Pink so much. What's it like for you to play such an iconic role? Yeah, it's good fun. Um, she is so iconic, but it was really fun putting my own sort of twist on it. A character that is quite typically very far from myself. I've loved doing that this time. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not very pink this evening, but it's good fun to play every night. Yeah. yeah. And of course, it's super fun. It's super fresh. There's a lot of new twists in this as well, isn't there, compared to previous productions. So why do you think people should come and see this new production of Grease? I think it is um, a good take on an old classic. It's got everything you want in there, but with newer, um, more nowadays values. Yeah, a, a mixture of two great things. Yeah. And we've got to talk about wearing that pink iconic outfit, but also all of the songs. Do you have a favourite to perform at all? Ooh, well, I don't have a song to sing, but I do love listening to the tattoo song, which I'm not, it wasn't in the film, I don't think. It's it's one that's in the musical. That's my favourite to listen to every night. Really yeah, and it's song. precisely why people should come and see it, because there's so many new elements to this show that you won't have seen in the movie. Exactly. It's super fun, super fresh and fabulous. And Eloise, as Frenchie, will blow you away, honestly. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Eloise. Enjoy your night and I'll see you soon. So I'm just here with Olivia Moore, who plays Sandy in Grease the Musical. How was it for you tonight? It was amazing. Very surreal, but amazing. I mean, Sandy is such an iconic role, and you did an incredible job. All of those numbers, your solos just blew me away. Thank you. What's it like to perform that every single night? Uh, it's, it's mental. It really is mental. Especially at the Dominion Theatre, such a massive theatre, it's insane. The audience, just, they're fantastic. It's, um, I'm living the dream. <laughs> and I've got to say this, Olivia, more, 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 because yes. we want to see more of you. Like, yes. you just have the, the talent and you're going to go so far. Oh, and also, you. the more, more, more reference, you know who was in the audience tonight? Who? Rachel Stevens. More, more, more. Um, How do you like it? Sweet dreams, my LAX. Yes. <laughs> So what did that feel like, performing in front of people like her? It just, just weird. Like, <laughs> great, like honestly, like weird, crazy. 
And why should people come and see this production of Grease? Obviously, it's fresh. There's lots of new elements in there. Because it's fun. It's fun. Everyone needs it after the pandemic. You know, we want a good time. Sing along to some songs. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Have a good time. Absolutely. And I've asked everybody this. Obviously, Grease is the word. Yep. But for you, what is your favourite word that you live by? That I live by? Oh, God. Uh, YOLO. Yes, I love that. YOLO. Well, YOLO, come and get your tickets to the Greece at the Dominion Theatre. <laughs> Olivia Moore is simply unmissable as Sandy. Thanks so much, Olivia. Enjoy your night. Thank you.